What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge home decor haul to share with you guys. A lot of the items that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are already like set out in our home and being used and so I'm going to kind of be taking you guys room by room and sharing with you guys all of the new items that have been entering our home within the last month. I hope that you guys will enjoy this video and let's jump right in and get started. All right, here is my first find from Kirkland's and this is a Buffalo check or a gingham printed rug. This is a 27 by 45 inch rug and this was something that I knew that I was going to buy. I didn't really expect coming across it at Kirkland's but I was really excited when I did because number one it was bigger than what I thought I would find or what I thought I would end up buying from. and it was also a little bit less expensive than the ones that I was looking at uh, through Amazon's website. So when I purchased this Kirkland's was having a huge sale on so many items in their store plus I was able to use an additional percentage off so I believe I only paid about 15 or 16 dollars for this and again given the size I was really really excited that I came across this one it was the last one that they had in stock and this is actually going to be going out on our back porch I'm going to use it as like a layering rug so this one will be the larger one and will go on the bottom and then I picked up a top rug uh, that I will share with you guys in a bit from Amazon that will be going on top of this again in the backyard. I have come across so many pictures on Instagram of how these look uh, used as a layering rug and I just think that they are so adorable. I am doing a video on a backyard deck refresh. Not sure if you will see this video before or after that video but you will definitely see how this comes together with that layering look in the back there on my channel very soon if you have not yet seen it. Next up, I have this gorgeous bench to share with you guys. And currently this is in our dining room. This is not where this will end up staying. And you will see this in one of the room refresh videos that I am working on. I did want to just quickly share with you guys in this video. This came from Kirkland's. I am so obsessed with it. It is a beautiful bright white color and it's got so many like distressed marks throughout it and I just think it's beautiful. I actually caught this on a major sale. I believe this was supposed to be 200 and something dollars. But Kirkland's was having an entire week long sale where they heavily reduced the price of one item per day. I love the look of this. It looks like a vintage church pew. I'm really excited to use this in my home. I cannot wait to put it where I kind of have in mind and just style it with some throw pillows and maybe like a little throw blanket. Just get this looking really cute. But for now, until the space I have in mind is ready, this is where it's staying, which I definitely don't mind. It's always nice having additional seating, especially in the dining room, I think. All right, next up, I picked up this absolutely beautiful wall mirror from Kirkland's as well. This was another item that I got on sale. Not as big of a sale as that bench, but here you can see this mirror is flipped upside down. But the original price of this is $40 and I believe I paid 27 which I thought was a really good deal. This mirror is going to be going in our upstairs bathroom, and again, you will see this in action during that bathroom refresh video. I'm really excited for this mirror just because it is bigger than the current one that we have, and I love the framing of this. It's a beautiful whitewash frame, and it has plenty of distressing, which is a feature that I really enjoy. And it's a really nice sized frame. Um, the frame is really thick, which is another feature that I was looking for when trying to find a mirror for the upstairs bathroom. So, so this one is exactly what I had in mind. And with that sale price point, I was really excited to come across this. As you can see there, it has the beveled edging, which is a beautiful feature for mirrors to have. Or here is the siding of this mirror. I love the colors. I feel like they're nice and neutral. It'll just brighten up the space up there and give that upstairs bathroom a nice, like, rustic, farmhousey look. Here is the next item and find from Kirkland's. And this is just one of those, like, decor beads that seem to be everywhere. These have been around for quite a while, and I've finally kind of just given in to them and wanted to add one to our house. They kind of just spruce up 
an area, whether it be a table lamp or just like draping these on over some books or over a little crate. There's so many different ways that you can kind of work these into your decor. And so I had to jump on the bandwagon with these. Uh, I did decide to buy this white distressed looking one. Kirkland's also had a tan, like a natural wood color, and then also a black version. I thought all three were really beautiful. I did not want to bring three in, and I also did not want to bring three different colors in. So I just stuck with this one. I think that this one's just really classic and will kind of just liven up any area that I put this in. All right, next up, another Kirkland's find. I have this wicker planting basket. This is another thing that I kind of had my eye on. I didn't expect to come across it at Kirkland's. And the ones that I was looking at just seemed so pricey. So for about a month now, I've just kind of been resisting wanting to purchase one of these just because of the price. But then when I came across it at Kirkland's and I got it for such a good price, I knew it was meant to be. Um, so Kirkland's again was having that big sale. I was able to use an additional percentage off. And so I scored this for only $12, which is unbelievable if you have seen similar like planters. So at Home Goods, these go for $25, I believe. And then on those like online boutiques, they're even more pricey. And so for $12, I could not resist. I had to pick this up and I'm really, really excited to plant in this. I love it because it does have some height. It looks very different than all of my other planters or pots. And I think that this is just such a natural and fun look on a normal planter. Here are the legs. So you can see, I wanna say this whole planter from top to bottom is probably about like two and a half or three feet. I could be wrong, but it is a considerable sized planter, I think. I am going to have to stick a black plastic garbage bag um, on the inside here, just to keep the water and the dirt um, from like completely falling out and spilling out everywhere um, just to like lock in the moisture and all of that but I don't think it will look odd or anything because it's just going to blend in with how the dirt naturally would have looked or the soil. I am also in the process of filming a plant with me video where I share with you guys how I am planting in all of the pots that I have and what I'm using so you will again see this product in that video. And then here is another layering rug. And this is going to be used for the front door. This one did come from Amazon. I will have a direct link down below for all of my Amazon products. But this one is a bit smaller. It was a bit pricier than the previous one that I shared. And it kind of has a little bit different of a look. When this is being used as a layering rug, it kind of gives off more of like an ombre look just because the top strip right there is white and then down at the bottom is black. So once you lay an additional rug or doormat over this, it does look more like ombre, which I really do like the look of that as well. Again, you will see this and how I use it for my front porch in a separate video. Next from Amazon, I purchased this rug to go on top of the front door Buffalo Check rug. Uh, this one is just a dark gray. It's coming off a little bit more black, I think, on film, but it is a really dark charcoal gray. And the wording is like a tan color. It's really pretty, especially paired up with the rug that's gonna be going underneath. And again, this came from Amazon. Check that link down below if you're interested in this one. And then here is the rug that I picked out for the backyard deck. This one also came from Amazon. This one just says, life, enjoy the ride. It's got a really nice little bicycle on there. This one I just thought was more appropriate for the outside just because we do spend a lot of our family time out there. And the other hello one was a little bit more appropriate for the front just because it's kind of welcoming our guests into our home. And this one was just more a little bit like kid friendly, having fun type of a vibe. All right, this is not home decor related, but it is a new purchase, so I wanted to add this to this haul. Um, this is a book that I picked up from Sam's Club, and as you can see, it is Easy Keto for Busy People. I have looked through this recipe book several times. I have found so many um, recipes that look delicious, that are also obviously keto friendly, and they don't look hard at all. The ingredients look pretty simple. Stuff that I'm not going to have to like search 
specialty stores for, but more like items that I can find just at my local grocery store. So I'm really excited to get to using this. As you guys know, I've been on a weight loss journey for so long now, and I'm hoping that trying to live like the keto lifestyle will help me along in that journey. Let me know if you guys have gone keto and your experience, what you like about it, what you dislike about it, just any information you want to share with me about the keto way of life, I would love to hear down in the comment section below. All right, here's my next purchase. I Every time I look at this, I kind of laugh at myself, but this is a super long and skinny and narrow wooden tray that I picked up from Home Goods. The backstory behind this is kind of funny. I saw something so similar to this like serving tray on a reality TV show and I thought it was so cool just the way that it was presented with like a bunch of little appetizers on it and I thought to myself, oh man, I would love to find something like this to be able to serve appetizers on. Literally two days later I found this at Home Goods. I thought that Finding something like this, I would have to actually search for. I still have the tag on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up keeping it because it is so long. I don't know how much use I will actually get out of it. But nonetheless, I thought it was really cool. And if I could use it um, and find different ways to use it a little bit more often, I think that this is an awesome, awesome serving tray just because of how much you could fit on it and just find different ways to present food to your guests. So this was $25 at Home Goods. Again, that price kind of is what makes me want to return it just because I don't know how much use I'll end up getting out of it. But we'll have to see. I wanted to, of course, include it in this video because it is a really cool and unique piece. Next up, I found this pack of three Tiki brand table torches. I searched for them on Amazon and I found them. They had pretty great reviews, so I was really excited to purchase these for the start of summer. I believe the price I paid for these were about $15 for the three, so about $5 each and they're just so adorable and they're really easy to place on a table. They're nice and small. And I'm sure everybody is always looking for different ways to keep those pesty mosquitoes away. At least that's what I'm doing. I want to be able to enjoy our backyard as much as possible. We even have like a mosquito service come and try to rid our yard of mosquitoes, but sometimes not even that is enough. So I'm hoping that these will just be an added benefit to the fight against mosquitoes. Here is one up close. The base of the pineapple is a nice bright white color and then the top there is a really beautiful chromey gold color. Since I was able to find these on Amazon, I will have a direct link down below in the description box if you are interested in a set like this. I did see a few other different like tabletop sets, similar in size, um, just a little bit different in the appearance. And Amazon has a really big collection of these table top tiki torches. All right, next up, I picked up these three beautiful jade night. I think that's how you say this color or this like type of glass. But I picked up these three glasses from Hobby Lobby. When my friend and I went to Hobby Lobby this past week, they were having a huge sale or, or clearance rather. There were so many things stuffed inside of carts at the beginning of so many aisles and there were so many things on end caps just that had been marked down so much and it was almost overwhelming because there was so many things and the stuff that was inside of the carts I was just afraid to touch a lot of it because it was so packed in there and there were lots of glass and ceramic stuff and so I kind of had to just take a step back and leave all that stuff for somebody that was a little bit more willing to dig through it all but I did manage to pick up these three glasses and these are something that I had been eyeing at Hobby Lobby for probably about six months. I love the color of these and I just think that these are going to be so much fun to use as little ice cream cups this summer. Um, I definitely want to take a picture of my son and daughter enjoying some ice cream in these on like a really nice hot sunny summer day. And what I loved about these is that they're beautiful but they're also functional. So a lot of Hobby Lobby's stuff that looks like it would be like food appropriate states right on there that it is not food safe and 
and not intended for food use. These state that they are food safe and they are actually also dishwasher safe, which was another huge plus for myself and you guys would probably know that by now if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time. With all of these hauls that I do, I always look for dishwasher safe items. And for that price tag, you just could not go wrong. So originally these were supposed to be $13 and they were each marked down to $3.24 a piece. Next up, I picked up this little sand castle set from TJ Maxx and I just couldn't resist this because of its durability and the quality. So I have seen so many of these little sand buckets and shovels, but you can just tell seconds after touching them that they are just very poorly made and, and that they probably just won't withstand even a few days of play with kids. Kids are just way too rough on their toys. And so once I came across this set, even though it was a little bit pricier, there you can see the price tag on this, $10 for the set. Uh, so even though it was a bit pricier than what I have come across from like the Target dollar section or the dollar store. The quality is really what sold me over. So this is made by 100% recycled milk jugs and they are just so sturdy. You literally cannot put a dent in these. You cannot bend them or squish them or anything. They're just very, very, very sturdy and well-made. And so I am very confident that these will actually last this entire summer, if not quite a few summers, just because of how durable the material is. I love the colors of these. They're just like a really nice, neutral, toned down pastel color set. Next up I have another scatter rug to share with you guys and this is in the same spot that I shared the other scatter rug and then like the other possible scatter rug that I was going to use for this spot right in our living room that leads out to our backyard. So while I loved the original really light pastel uh, rug that I purchased for this area, I was just too nervous the entire time that it was right here that it would end up getting dirty and damaged and that I would have to end up throwing it away. I liked it way too much to watch that process happen and so I just ended up moving that original rug right up to my kiddos room and in there it fits perfectly. I don't have to worry about it too much and I think it just brightens up the room up there. So that worked out really nicely and in moving that rug upstairs of course I needed a new rug for this spot and this one I think is the keeper. I love this one here. It's, it's like a perfect size for this spot and and we actually had a different rug here temporarily. So I was really excited to come across this one. It is a jute rug with beautiful detail that kind of stands out a little bit higher up than the bottom section, if that makes any sense. Of course, you guys can see what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Um, I also love that it has the tassels on the end. I did leave this on just for the video, but once I'm done filming, I'll of course remove that. This was found at TJ Maxx and it was $24.99, which was super comparable with all of the other rugs this size. This is my first jute rug that I've ever had, and so I'm hoping it holds up well. I'm hoping I don't experience too much like shedding or any issues with it. I just want it to be durable and also look nice. And what I love the most about these scatter rugs is that they can be easily changed out and moved from spot to spot. They're like the perfect size and you don't have to invest too much money just changing up the look of a space. All right, moving on, I have this letter board that I actually purchased from Amazon. And I wouldn't have thought of Amazon to find a really nice quality, really adorable letter board like this. So I was pretty surprised. I did have another letter board or message board that I picked up from Target a little bit over a year ago. And once I found this one, I actually listed that original one from Target for sale on my Facebook Marketplace account and sold that one and literally just took the money that I got from that one to buy this one. And I just really like the look of this one a lot better. The first one, the original one from Target, was the same color scheme, 
but it was metal and so it just looked like it didn't belong as well this one has a much more like vintagey rustic look to it it is wooden and it's got lots of distress marks that kind of run throughout it and so I just felt like this one fit in with my home a whole lot more where the letters get put is actually felt and the original one was metal so I felt like with that original one the letters just didn't stay put as well uh, this being like an actual fabric the letters just fit in there a little bit more snug this one came with a ton of letters a ton of little emojis like the two hearts that I have down below and overall I am really really happy with this one I will have a direct link to this message board or letter board down below in the description section of this video and I did share a photo of this space uh, on my Instagram account if you are not yet following me on Instagram I would love for you guys to check out my Instagram and follow me on there I love this message board because I did get to use it as decor for my son's birthday I just wrote happy birthday with his name and his age and it was just a really cute little piece of decor to add to his party but now that the party is over this is what I think that this will be saying for quite a while at least until my daughter's birthday or the next like event or family gathering that we have and then the other thing that I really like about this is that it comes with a stand so that is included in the purchase of this so I love that fact you don't have to lean it up against the wall it also gives it some height and the size of this makes this so easy to move and to place in different sections of your home next up I have this new little glass light here in our living room I actually found this on Facebook marketplace and I purchased it for I want to say seven dollars which I thought was a really good price but I love the look of this. It's so simple and clean. I have always been interested in these like clear glass based um, lamps. I think that the like little tint of green that the glass has complements those faux lambs ear, that faux lambs ear plant right there so well. Um, it's kind of balanced, I think. I just really like how this looks here. And again, this is another item that I feel like I could move from spot to spot. And because of its size and because of the neutral tones that this has, it would just be really easy to switch up different areas of the home using this lamp. And then really quick, here is how this looks when it's on. Next up, we are out in the backyard on the main deck. And I wanted to really quickly share with you guys this beautiful fringy hammock that I purchased from Target.com. We have had this hammock base for a while now. I found that on Amazon, but we really needed to update the actual cloth part of the hammock and I came across this one and I'm so happy that I did. I love how this looks. Target also carries a black version of this and I thought that that one was absolutely stunning as well, but I was a little bit afraid of how hot it would be just because of the sun beating down on it all day. So I opted for this creamy linen color I'm hoping that it won't get stained super easily or damaged by any of the elements outside, but so far it's been holding up great. We've had it out here for about two and a half or three weeks now, and I did purchase this when Target was having a sale on all of their outdoor stuff. I believe that sale continues to run periodically, but what definitely attracted me to this was all of the detail on the bottom here. It hangs pretty low and it just adds a really fun and unique twist on like a classic looking hammock. Here are the last few items to share with you guys for this haul. So I picked these up from Target.com. We recently painted and stained our deck and I did do a whole video on a deck refresh for you guys so you will see the whole process and a few other things that we purchased for the backyard deck. But since we decided to paint this existing corner bench black, I knew that we needed something to kind of just like break up the heat and all of the sun that this would attract if there were no cushions on this. So I wanted something that would fall in line with our new deck color choices and these were perfect. They were also on sale when I purchased them so it was perfect timing and I love how these look out here. Here you can see we just tied these on the spindles on the back of this bench so they stay in place really easily. I am so obsessed with the buffalo check printed look or the gingham print. I think it just looks so modern but also like very farmhousey. And again, I love how they tie in with the deck. 
I have really been enjoying finding and picking out new items for this summer season and I hope you guys have been too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join my YouTube family. And if you could please give this video a big thumbs up, I would appreciate that as well. I hope to see you all in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.